Hey, beautiful people. Welcome to my channel in the Notaro 1122. All right, Leo, let's get into this thing. See what's going on this weekend in love, okay? This will not resonate with everyone. Please take what fits and leave the rest. Doesn't necessarily have to be this weekend. Okay, so <laughs> this is not the one. Trust, okay? Don't settle. Somebody is lusting over you, not interested in your family life. Okay, so, um, yeah, trust in what you're seeing, trust in what you're believing, um, trust the trust divine, trust the um, signs that you are see, seeing. Um, looks like it's cuffing season here, so somebody may be trying to hook up for a short time, not a long time. Okay, I'm just saying, not a lifetime. Track star. So we got a runner here. Okay. So we got someone here that is just interested in sex. This could be somebody that you are already dealing with. Someone here that wants to reunite, bring some type of peace into the situation here. Um, you need to trust and lean on your integrity here. Is this something that you want in your life here? All right. Like I said, this person is coming in for a short time, not a lifetime. So if you into the hookup things and all that, so be it, whatever, you know, but this is definitely not someone that is coming to um, stay, uh, build, you know, all of that love and all that. This person is out the window, out the door. Deuces. See you later. Bye. All right. So um, kind of feels like, you know, there's a lot of, you know, a lot of equal balance between you two, a lot of harmony, a lot of peace in this connection. However, one of you may want something more. Maybe you want a connection like this with someone that, you know, you know that it will actually lead somewhere because this ain't going nowhere. Let's see. Wasn't going to use these, but I guess I will. Give me messages. Give me three on this situation, please, and thank you. <clears throat> Someone here is possibly divorced. Oh, look at this. Running away. Oh, yes. Born to shine. Okay, what I get here is that someone here may have been in a long-term relationship. And this person may have broken free from that, and they are not interested in long term, okay? This person, when it comes to commitment, they will run. This person, yeah, be careful with this person too. This person, um, someone here was possibly in a relationship where it was dull, they were not happy, they were probably dealing with someone that was overbearing. This person possibly... Um, lost a lot of themselves in this commitment you possibly have someone that is very free care you know carefree likes to come and go as they choose don't want anyone to answer to and someone really felt like the last marriage or connection that they were in was really like the warden the ball and chain i mean golly whoever this was possibly went through the worst aspects of a marriage or partnership Instead of the commitment, working together, being in balance, in harmony with each other. You understand what I'm saying? The yin to your yang. Someone here could have been in a marriage of convenience. I don't know. Let's see. Or it could have been that somebody married someone or committed to someone because they had children here. This person may discuss... Some of the issues that went on in their, um, oh, wow, in their connection. Also, this person may be talking to someone else about the issue between you and them. This person may have the aesthetics of everything that you like. In other words, this person may be, you know, physically appealing attractive but there's some things that you don't particularly care for this person sugar or salt which one are you going to be okay we're not and i heard take the bitter with the sweet no no let's see give me messages about this situation toxicity look at this yeah and it's crazy because it slid over here right over here on not the one 
All right. This says introverted, but I think this person is not telling you a lot of things that's going on with them, okay? Possibly about this connection or the connection that they were in or somebody could still be in. Somebody could be actually in a connection or a marriage that's falling apart. Let's see. <clears throat> and I think someone may be keeping this from you as well. Let's see. You may be missing this person. This person may be contacting you in a 3D. Yeah, there's a third party here. Or either someone here may be getting some downloads from their dreams. Pay attention to that. Sorry. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I don't... I don't like this. Not one bit. Give me. There's conflict here. This is what's causing the conflict because there's somebody else here. Pay attention. Pay attention to the downloads that you're getting here. Somebody may be receiving information in your dreams here. Yeah, let's see. Look at this. You may be wondering why this person is not trying to move forward or just being very elusive or whatever. Somebody is exhausted, tired of going through this situation here. Mm. Yeah. Letting go of what's holding them back, third party relationships, friendships, and things like that. Someone here has been holding on to things from the past. If this is an old divorce, an old breakup, or something like that, maybe this person isn't dealing with them anymore. This person is harboring ill feelings towards that past person or what happened in that connection. So pretty much somebody had a bad marriage, bad relationship, and it kind of ruined the whole idea of partnering with someone. Someone just wants to lay and play. Do what they do, come and go as they please. Um, possibly bed hop in here as well. But it looks like someone is wanting to leave that behind. This could be you or this could be them. Maybe you're realizing that this connection is not going anywhere and it is stunting your growth, your emotional growth. Also, if you have somebody standing in the doorway in your love life, sweetheart, and this person isn't coming in and they're not going out, they're, they're blocking the doorway for anybody else to get in, okay? So politely move that person out the way so somebody else can get in. Or they can make up their damn mind. Are you coming or going? Matter of fact, since you were so indecisive, um, I really don't want to be bothered with you. So exit stage left. Wherever you go, right, left, wherever. Just move the hell up out the way so my person can actually see, you know, behind you. All right? You're blocking what's for me. So somebody needs to move here. So Leo, this could actually be you walking away from third parties, things that no longer serve you. Um toxic friendships and things like that okay been here done that not give, not gonna repeat it absolutely not all right so leo why right. let's see if we can get some more messages from this person i don't i don't i don't know let's see dark confessions in in the shadows let's see one regarding this situation. I'm numbing myself not to be vulnerable and not to feel pain. Absolutely. Th look, I can only think superficially. Being too deep is difficult for me. Cannot make this up. Okay, so someone here. Oh, my God. Okay, so check this out. Someone here may not only be you know, jumping in and out of frivolous relationships or whatever, connections or whatever, uh, finding bed buddies, as I wanted to say. Um, this person may also have some type of addictions or something like that, which is really a trip because when I was actually pulling the deck for um, in the T, addictions was on the bottom of the deck. 
So someone here could be numbing themselves. They could be doing drugs. They could just be all over the place when it comes to their sex life. You understand what I'm saying? Um, maybe the person that they were with before did not value them. Um, this person may have made them made your person feel inadequate or non-deserving or unlovable, whatever it is. I don't know. Maybe something in that connection really hurt the self-esteem. So maybe someone um, is seeking attention from others. So someone here could be a bit promiscuous, okay, and a, a bit of attention whore. Um, I'm just saying, you know, and maybe they sleep around a lot. And maybe this is, okay, so this is going to sound kind of weird, but I, I can kind of get it. All right, someone here, like I said, may have been made to feel inadequate, right? In their person's eyes. So that bruises this person's self-esteem. This person could be well, you know, well-to-do. They could have, you know, money. They could be attractive, whatever. But this could also be someone that's kind of a peaceful demeanor or whatever. I don't know. Um... Maybe their person has a problem with that, and maybe their person or their ex-person, like I said, really down this person. So maybe your person is seeking validation from others, okay? And instead of hooking up with one person, okay, I can get validation from one person. It's, you know, they're trying to prove to themselves that their ex-person, whatever their ex-person said about them was absolutely wrong, okay? <laughs> So the more people that I can find that are attracted to me, that are interested in me, you know, that want to get relationships with me, the more that I prove my ex wrong, I am worth something. Oh my God, that's deep. Okay, so anywho, this person, like they run, even if this person catches feelings for someone, they will possibly run from this person or do something to sabotage it. And it's crazy. They will do something to sabotage this connection so that you won't want a serious connection with them. But somehow or another, they won't leave you alone. Look at this. So somebody needs help. This is messed up. Somebody made this person feel really unworthy and unlovable. And Jesus Someone here is stepping out of their integrity, all right, out of their morals, doing things that are not morally right for this person and not being funny. Someone here may be getting a lot of connections with people. However, they like the attention, but the connections are not going anywhere. This person may feel like they're okay with that, but in actuality, they're not. This is, this, this, wow. This reading is taking a whole different. Why am I feeling this person? This person is really sad and not happy with, with life. Not only their decisions, but it kind of, oh my gosh. It kind of seems like this person has had a lot of, a lot of bad things happen to them, not only in relationships, but could have a lot to do with their, their childhood, their parenting, or how they were parented. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to leave that alone, but it's coming up for a reason. Leo, that has nothing to do with you, though. All right, it says, I'm waiting for an apology. Okay, I don't know who the hell this person is. What'd you do? What'd you do to this person? Or are you? I took the easy way out. I wonder how far this would go. Wow. Okay. I pretend that I don't care. This person really cares about you. But, like, I, you know, it kind of goes back to what I said. This person could actually care about people, but, you know, once once this person starts catching feelings or, you know, it's like a red flag to this person. Oh, hell no. Got to run. Check this out. I'm deuces. I'm out of here. I don't know if you said something to this person that may have kind of rub this person the wrong way or whatever, but they might be waiting for some type of apology or confession from you. Maybe this is you towards this person. I don't know. But um, I kind of think that this person is kind of like, you know what? I wonder how long this is going to last. Is this actually going to lead to anything? What the hell is this? 
I think we got somebody here that sabotages relationships. Oh, this person might have figured, wanted to know how long were you going to, oh my God, put up with them? Or put up with this, you know, how long were you going to give them before you just threw your hands up and gave up? Someone took the easy way out, okay? So they didn't put any any energy, any anything in this connection. They possibly let you do all the work and not being funny. Oh my God. Even if this person had feelings for you, they probably backed off. You possibly got tired of this situation. This person, like I said, possibly sabotaged this connection. They're a runner. They come in hot. And then as soon as you show interest, this person starts to back off and then they let you do the work because you're wondering, okay, well, so what the hell happened? You were hot and heavy and all into me. And now all of a sudden, where did you go? And you're putting more effort in, which makes it seems like you're tra you're chasing this person, which in actuality, you kind of are because this person is elusive on purpose. They come in. Oh, my God. Mm, so you got somebody here that's got some some issues here. And Leo, honestly. This is too much back and forth. Somebody here needs to deal with this shit. And excuse the expression, but this is real talk. Somebody here has been hurt, and I get it. I get it. But what they're doing is they're leaving a trail of tears with other people. A trail of heartbreak, all right? Playing games to try to validate themselves. Somebody here needs to grow up. They need to go in here and do some inner childhood work, all right? Do some shadow work here. And uh, let go of whatever hurt and pain that happened to them with that past connection or whatever it is. Let that grow. Grow up. Put your big girl drawers on, your big boy panties on, whatever it is. Um, but to continue to do this just so they can make themselves feel validated? No, bruh. This, this right here is trash. All right. So, Leo, I can only imagine... How irritated you've gotten with this person because this is kind of irritating me right now. Don't nobody have time for this. You understand? Life is too short. Sweetheart, whoever this is, they need to go and deal with their issues because what you're not getting ready to do is bring your issues and drop them at my front door and give me issues to heal from. Absolutely not. All right. So somebody is going through something here and not being funny. Cross watcher, if this is you, I feel you. But baby, baby, we got to grow up. OK, this is not adulting at all. All right, let's see. Give me messages from Spirit regarding this situation, please, and thank you. Your person is struggling and needs your compassion and understanding at this time. Look at this. Somebody's going through something. However, you are not somebody's doormat for, there to watch, for them to wipe off their feet on you. Absolutely not. Open up your mouth. Say what's going on in your heart, sweetheart. Let's talk like adults. Let's get this situation handled, okay? But other than that, going in and out of somebody's life like, you know, no, just, just no. Okay. And I do apologize, but really realizing what this person is up to and what's going on here is kind of irritating my soul a little bit. Cause yeah, this, this right here is not cool at all. All right. So do what's best for you, sweetheart. Don't settle for lust. Don't settle for someone that is coming in, literally dumping the issues of their heart out on you. Okay. Or in you. All right, there's that. And once they're feeling better, they're going off to do the next thing or the next person or whatever. And then when they're feeling mighty low, guess what? And need a boost of self-esteem, they're coming towards you, okay? So nip this in the bud, all right? And it says, Leo, if you are going through a difficult time, connect with the divine for protection and guidance. They will hear you. You are not alone. How do you see yourself in this situation? Self-awareness can help you gain a new perspective. Where do you where do you lie at in this situation, okay? Are you happy here? I'm just saying, are you happy with this person? All right, let's see. Let's get some messages for this situation for Leo. Give me messages for this situation for Leo. Four of Cups. <laughs> Yeah, somebody actually may be daydreaming about this situation. Look, the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Absolutely. There might be some regret here. 
Somebody might be feeling that, you know what, this is not going anywhere. It's stuck, stagnant. It's never going to grow. This is the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. Six of Cups, been here, done that. Somebody is not giving equally to the situation. You may have history with this person, but nothing has changed, okay? So it looks like you're contemplating this situation like, you know what, I'm tired of being here. All right, we start at ground zero and only end up to one. And if that is one, all right, so there's that. Let's see, you don't find your happiness, your peace in this connection with this person. I get it. All right, so we have the eight of pentacles. Look at this. Looks like you put in a lot of work, a lot of effort towards this situation. Looks like you were dedicated to this person. And you know what? Um... Looks like you stepped up to the plate full force. Let's do this. And somebody else was not here. Yeah. Looks like you come to some type of realization about this situation. Let's see. Page of Cups. There may be some communication coming in. This person could be a little bit younger than you as well. This person may want to come in and communicate what's going on. Tell you what's going on. Tell you the truth here. All right. Someone here, I don't know if this, okay, somebody here is waiting for an apology. I don't know if that's you or this person, but someone here may be coming in with an apology and an explanation as to what's going on with them. Ten of Swords in reverse, so somebody definitely wants to get over this situation. If this, if there's been betrayal, heartbreak, um, third party situation, someone wants to come in and explain, explain this. <coughs> oh, excuse me. All right, so you guys might be on a break right now. Someone here might be feeling seriously overwhelmed by this situation as well. Like, you know what? This is too much. Um, we need to be upfront and honest with each other. And if not, this is not the place for me. All right, you could have seen a lot of things happening with this situation. A lot of growth, a lot of potential. But it looks like the only potential here is the tower, godly. All right, in the world. So it looks like you're leaving this situation behind. Anything else here? Jesus, why is this a repeat? The Knight of Swords. Somebody's coming in here to communicate. This person wants to tell you the truth. The chariot, yeah. Look, this person wants to come in and tell you that they got a lot of stuff that they want to say. Somebody wants to get something off their chest, Leo. What is it? The Three of Cups. Somebody wants to reunite. They want to get back together here. Somebody has been considering their actions and the situation, their behavior. All right. So, give me more. King of Pentacles. Did somebody grow a bit? Finally decide to become stable and faithful. All right. Did this person really step into who they actually are? This person has always been the king of pentacles. Honestly, what I get here, and I hate to say it, but um, some of you, this is a masculine here. All right. This is a dude here that was a, you know, a provider, um, a husband, possibly a father here, someone with integrity, someone that, <laughs> oh my God, someone that is possibly a party person or or just out there, you know, kind of wilding out would not appreciate the person that this masculine is coming in as, okay? Look at this. This person might have had some abandonment issues from the past, a lot of sadness, grief, loss, all right? Someone not seeing who they were or appreciating who they are. This is kind of like, okay, if you see, and I am going to put it towards women, this is kind of like, you know, you see a woman that has a damn good ass man. He works, you know, he does guy things like, you know, his hobbies or whatever. You know, he's family oriented. He's not about the streets. He's not about the life, the party life. He's just happy being, you know, a husband and a dad, you know, just living life. And then he may have a partner who likes, you know, a lot of, flamboyant things like to go out party a socialite someone that likes to you know um like i said you know hang out and i don't know but it looks like to me that this person may have been attracted to someone they're not equally yoked with 
someone might be more chill vibe, you know, like I said, you know, kind of easy going or whatever. The person might be all out there, you know? So, yeah. Mm. This person actually might have been seduced into a relationship or marriage. Don't know. But anyway... Let's see, you got messages coming in from this person. I thought that was a Five of Cups and a Six of Cups. Look at that. All right, so we got the Queen of Wands here. This is you. Ooh, you feeling some type of way about this person, though. Whatever this person did, it hurt your feelings. It hurt your heart. But it looks like you are paying more attention to loving on you. There is a Six of Cups. No, as a matter of fact, it did show up. Okay. So, yeah. Yeah, you're loving on you. Kind of nostalgic about this situation. Let's see. Been here, done that. Looks like you're focusing on being single, doing your thing. Abundant here. I don't know. Some of you could be very popular. Look at the Seven of Pentacles. You're investing in yourself, sweetheart. Starting over, investing in yourself, as you should. All right, a lot of growth and harmony here. Let's see. All right, I got to get ready to go. I got to read in. Let's see. Let us see. Leo, this is a trip. I wasn't expecting this. So I don't know who's dealing with this situation, but let's see. What's the outcome for Leo and this person? What's the outcome for Leo and this person? Please and thank you. The Empress. Y'all be careful. Somebody might end up pregnant. Ooh. All right. So check this out. Leo, like I said, it looks like you're focusing on you. Bringing your life into balance here. It looks like you're focusing on your pinnacles. All right. Your glow up. And it looks like that's coming for you. However... There's some great disappointment behind this, okay? So it looks like you're going to work through your pain, your fears, and you're going to move forward. But it does look like you got some communication coming in eventually. All right, so this person may want to clear the air, let you know what's going on. We have judgment here. I thought something I flipped over. Let's see. There's someone here that's very codependent. Oh, Lord. All right, we got somebody here that is very codependent. Let's see, are you going to reunite with this person? It looks like you got something new coming in. What is this? Yeah, you're not. Yeah, absolutely. You may feel like you got somebody that's very codependent here. Like I said, you know, someone that depends on other people to boost their self-esteem here. And Leo, it looks like, you know what? You don't have time for this. The games, the bullshit, the, the immaturity. Okay. Someone here trying to feed their ego. You don't have time for that. You, you, we're doing adulting, okay? We want our ten of pentacles, all right? Our six of wands, and this is what we're going for. So you know that if you were to have it with this person, my God, it would take forever. Forever. Someone here needs to do a lot of healing. This person is bitter from their past here. Ooh, and this may actually show up too. You might talk to this person, might mention certain things, and it might trigger this person unbeknownst to them, but you may see some slight differences in their attitude or maybe their answers and things like that. This person may become short or annoyed. Pay attention to the micro expressions. Trust me, they will tell you a lot. All right, let's see. Pay attention to their body language. It'll tell you a lot. Yes, you may feel that this person is very sneaky, that you can't trust this person, especially if you found out that all this was going on. Absolutely not. 
This is someone that's very self-centered and self-serving, okay? This person is all about self. So in other words, this person will take whatever it is that you're offering, whatever that they can take, and they will run, leaving you with the remnants, okay? So in other words, this person will take your love, your affection. If you give gifts of whatever it is, your time, your sex, you understand your mental capacity because this person may vent to you or whatever, you understand? And then they're going to leave you empty, all right? And move on while they're feeling better. Absolutely not. So you may need to guard your heart from this situation. I don't know. Somebody here needs to grow up, literally. They need to get themselves out of that situation. If they're already out of that situation, this person needs to stop being a thotosaurus, okay? And just going from here to there, from here to there, seeking validation. Because I can tell you one thing, this person is still not happy. All right. They might like the attention. They might like the sex or whatever it is. They might like having multiple people to go to because that is another form of attention seeking. OK, but when it really comes down to it, when this person lays down, guess what? This person does not feel well at all. OK, this person is very hurt. They are possibly very bitter and very angry. OK, but they mask it. <laughs> they mask it to get what they want here, okay? So you possibly need to guard your heart from this person. Give me one more, please. But Leo, I don't see you trusting this person. I see you doing what you need to do for yourself, absolutely. This may have come to light that this person is dealing with someone else, other people. They may have a wife, a husband here, um, other companions that they're dealing with here. Whatever it is, there's a vice in the way between you two. And you've gotten clarity about this. And one thing that you don't want this person to do is bring a lot of conflict and a lot of drama in your life or have you second guessing things. This person may be playing mind games so that they can get in between your sheets, okay? Get in between those thighs, I'm just saying. So you got to do what's best for you, my love. All right, anything else about this situation? Please and thank you. Yes, look at this. See, the Empress has left the building. Situ the Empress has left the building, sweetheart. I am too gorgeous. I am too fine. I am too smart. I am too abundant. I am too everything to stay around for this hot mess here. Absolutely not. Right? Okay, let's see. Give me more about this situation, please. For Leo, regarding this person, okay, Queen of Wands, you're taking your power back. Absolutely, making a wise decision to look for something else, okay? Go for the abundance, the blessings that's coming for you. The world is yours, sweetheart, okay? You're able to birth new ideas. Um, you got blessings coming for you as well, all right? I'm just saying, un untapped potential, all right? So you already know that who you are, whose you are, and what you're capable of, and you're not getting ready to let anybody stunt your growth or your progress here, all right? Lessons learned with this person. This person may be watching you, keeping an eye on you here as well, but it looks like you're being patient with your own process and healing here, all right, and moving forward. Oh, yeah, see, this person has some growth to do uh, they have some growth to do here, sweetheart. This person needs to go from the Queen of Pentacles in reverse to the Queen of Pentacles upright, okay? But they got some toxic toxic vices that are holding on to them, sweetheart. And they got to get rid of these things before they can have anything new, anything that's grounded, stable. Look at this, all right? And someone here has to face their own ugly truth and get out of their head and heal, okay? Clarify death here. Death for Leo in this situation. Yeah, you're protecting yourself. Absolutely. Death and rebirth. <laughs> Bring death to a situation. Focus on renewing. All right, yourself here. Not this connection. Look at this. Focus on your pinnacles, your stability, your integrity here. Look at this. You're blocking this person out. Why? Because they're indecisive. They're all over the place. They're all over the place. Them being imbalanced and out of sync with themselves have, may have started to make you feel imbalanced and not, you know, in sync with yourself. The devil is a lie and so is his mother-in-law. God is not the, the author of confusion, okay? So you're not allowing this person to bring their, their oh God, why did I want to say septus? 
there's septic behavior in here, okay? So something is toxic. It's toxic. And not only, okay, so this person has let love or someone ruin their idea or their vulnerability. How can I put this? This person has allowed someone to come in and basically put a piece of moldy fruit in their bowl, okay? And that has taken over in their life. So this person is salty as hell, bitter, angry, and then on top of that, they play mind games with other people. So guess what? This person is trying to take the moldy fruit that was put in their bowl and put it in yours. Now that theirs is ruined, this person is trying to spread the disease to you. That toxic, um, toxic energy, instead of going within, putting an end to that toxic behavior, healing, and rebirthing, all right? Being reborn, renewed, all right? This person is letting what happened to them rule their life, all right? And I'm going to tell you, this person has said no. Karma, whoo, no wonder this person can't get right. No wonder this person is not happy, even though they're get, probably getting all the bootay that they can get. You understand? This person is not happy because they're doing people wrong. So guess what? This person is getting kicked in the butt, getting kicked in the teeth. Every time they turn around, something is happening and they're not putting two and two together. They are not living with integrity morals. You understand what I'm saying? This person is doing people wrong because they were done wrong and they feel that it's just, well, somebody hurt me, so I'm going to hurt somebody else. But they're racking up karma. This person is never, ever, ever going to be happy. Period. Not living like this. Mm, somebody ain't living right. All right. Yes. Look, 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 look. This person is acting like this because of something that they did not heal from. Okay. Their worst nightmare has happened to them and they relive it over and over again, over and over again. This could be about a family setting. This could actually be about a wife. This could be about a husband that they had to move on from. This person may have told them all kind of harsh things about them because they did not value this person. And now they're taking it out on other people. And guess what? They're still not happy and not going to be happy. Because boy, 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 wait for the karma to get finished kicking you in the behind. When is enough enough? Put the swords down, face the truth, go within. Yes, it's going to hurt like hell, but go in there and rip that heart open and deal with your shiznit, okay? Because what you're doing, you're racking up karma and you're hurting other people. And God don't like ugly and he ain't too fond of how pretty. I'm just saying, okay? And this is some ugly ass behavior right here. It's self-serving, all right? Give me more about this situation and excuse me this morning if i'm fussing a little bit but i don't like this energy that this person is coming in through because it's a bunch of bs okay you already know that there's a third party situation here there's other things involved if it's not a person it's somebody's vice this person could be drinking drugs whatever mental issues i don't know maybe this person's just closed off at the heart or whatever there's somebody else here i'm telling you but maybe this person is just closed off and they refuse to let anybody in. Why are you standing at the door knocking? Okay. If somebody is showing you that they are not available for you, back the hell up and say, okay, you know what? Damn, it was nice meeting you. Uh, I kind of wish this had a went, you know, a little bit forward because the way that you were showing up at first, you know, yeah, I could rock with that. We could have been something here, but I see that, you know, you're not feeling the same way. So guess what? I'm not getting ready to stand here and continue to knock on the door and there's nobody there. Come on now. It's getting dark outside. It's getting cold out here. I mean, you know, let me let me move on. Go on to somebody that's safe. Okay? I know my worth. I know that whatever you give me, I'm going to multiply. All right? I'm going to make it happen with or without you too. So there's that. But Leo, my love, this is what I got for you today. Whew. This is a cold piece of work right here. But, um, yeah, I will try to post something else um, this weekend for you guys. I'm a little bit busy. Got some personals and stuff going on. And also, there's a few signs that I didn't uh, get last week. So, I'm going to try to get them out this week, okay? So, anyway, I hope you guys have an amazing day. Leo, whoever this is, do what's best for you, baby, in this situation. Because you got somebody that's stalling. 
You got somebody here that needs some work. They got to fix that. So anyway, I'll holler at y'all later. Y'all hit the like button for your girl. I greatly appreciate you. New subscribers, welcome to the channel. I am Liz, Lissette, TT, Ma. Just keep it respectful, okay? All right, you guys have an amazing weekend. Um, be careful. Take care of each other. Be safe. And uh, yeah, spread the love, okay? Bye.